I've been thinking about the past and I was going to tell a story about the Austin bomber or the guy that I thought was the Austin bomber. And I was going to talk about how, um, I told people not to pay their taxes in 2018 because I said, don't pay your taxes until the confession is released. And I'm concerned about that, but now I don't think I'm concerned about that. But what I, what I actually think we should be focused on right now is what actually matters and does it matter that our government is that messed up that it sure seems like at some point there were people putting a lot of pressure on Donald Trump to make decisions that he didn't agree with but then when I see Donald Trump what I see is this guy that is super concerned with everyone just not blaming him. And that's, if I, if I worked for Donald Trump, what I would tell him is stop trying to not take responsibility. You should treat the whole situation like you are a servant leader. Because a servant isn't worried about if it's their fault, unless they're a bad servant, a bad servant might break something and then hide it. But a good servant, um, will just do their job. And when you're a servant leader, that's how you inspire people to do their job in such a difficult time. And no matter what you think, this is a difficult time. I mean, I, have no doubt in my mind we are not beating COVID-19 until the vaccine's there. We might drastically slow it in the United States, but if we have any world that's connected, it's coming back because people are flinging it back. And that's the thing. There are people that are ag aggressively trying to spread it towards certain people because they blame the United States. I mean, I, I, I can't remember, was it the, Ch the Chinese government spokesperson that said they thought it might be the United States military? I know they said that um, it might have been in the United States before, and that's that's why it's, um, it's kind of confusing. I'm not sure that those are kind of two different stories. Because um, if it, it I, I don't know. And it, I, I do know that Iran is accusing the United States military of releasing a bioweapon. And I feel like Russia some people have accused us there too. And so I think, I, th I think that's probably why Donald Trump is having such a difficult time. Um, because everyone's kind of, that's why he, he keeps calling it. But I really liked what he said today. It sounds like he's trying because Donald Trump is a friendly guy. He can get along with you if he tries hard enough. But the real problem with Donald Trump is if he wants something from you, if, if he, if he, um, is in a business negoci negotiation with you, he might be harder to be friends with. But the moment he starts acting like a servant leader in the international arena, then he might be surprised by how good his relations are with the rest of the, his relations are with the rest of the world.